Scouts and execs on newest Met prospect Ryan Clifford, who has immense upside and potential. It's from SMY, he's one of the most advanced young hitters I've seen. End quote. A week since the trade deadline passed, there is a clear consensus among baseball people I've talked to that Mets GM Billy Eplin made some excellent choices, at least partly by prioritizing quality over quantity and bringing back top prospects in several deals he made. Quote, sometimes the team will make sure to get four or five prospects in one of those trades because it looks like a big haul to the fans, an executive from American League team told me. Quote, I'd rather zero in on the one or two players your scouts are confident will be potential difference makers at the highest level. Quote, it looks like that's what the Mets did. The reports are really good on the key players they got, especially in the deals for Scherzer and Verlander. It doesn't happen without Cohen eating so much money, but it's still up to the baseball people to find the right guys, and then as GM, you have to make the decision. An MLB scout echoed that sentiment, sentiment and added with a chuckle, quote, the seller probably helped Billy standing with his owner. The feeling about the game is the Mets did very well. The highest-ranked prospects acquired were shortstop Luis Angel Acuna from the, dot, from the Rangers and outfielder Drew Gilbert from the Astros, who immediately inserted into the Mets' top 10 prospect list by MLBPipeline.com and number 2 and number 4 respectively. Yet the most intriguing prospect, at least among the scouts and execs I polled, is Ryan Clifford, another outfielder from the Astros who was slotted in the Mets' list at number 6 by MLB Pipeline and gets high marks from evaluators as a hitter with big power and good plate discipline. Quote, I call him a thinking man's power hitter, one scout said. He's one of the most advanced hitters I've seen, said another. I'm surprised Houston gave him up, said a, said a team exec. You can really dream on his power. That's a lot of praise for an 11-round draft pick, but don't be fooled. Clifford was an 11-rounder by circumstances, not his talent. As the 2022 draft unfolded, word among MLB teams was that Clifford, a 6'3 high school left-handed hitter from Raleigh, North Carolina, had strong commitment to Vanderbilt, and his asking price to forego that commitment was higher than his value, which considered somewhere in the range of a late second or early third-round pick. The plan includes selecting at least some players with the first 10 picks who would agree to sign with slightly under slot value, thus enabling the Astros to save money of their overall draft pool allowance to select Clifford and sign for $1.2 million, which amounted to second round bonus money. I had a number in mind, Clifford said when he signed, and it helped that it was the Astros. This spring, his first full pro professional season, he was assigned to Class A Fayetteville where he was impressive enough offensively to earn a promotion after just 25 games to high eight Asheville. Then he looked over match at first, going 0-15 with 10 strikeouts, but then quickly figured it out. Over the next 53 games, he hit 279 with 16 homers and 11 doubles for a 547 slugging percentage, in addition to 22 walks and a 346 on base percentage. Quote, I could tell it was, I was just a tick off and trying to do too much, he told an Asheville's website. The adjustments were simple things I've done my whole life, seeing it deep and being short to the ball in order to allow me to track pitches better. In that quote, you can see why scouts are impressed with his advanced approach. He's got some swing and miss in his game. He strikes out, but he understands his own swing and he's got very good strike zone awareness. He makes enough contact, especially for a kid with his power, and the ball jumps off his bat. Clifford, who turned 20 last month, said that his plate discipline goes back to playing for USA Junior teams from the time he was 12 years old. Quote, I've always been bigger and stronger than most of the kids, he said, so I got pitched around a lot. I always thought if they were going to pitch around me, I'd take the walk and let the guys behind me drive me in. Clifford's downside scouts is his lack of speed, which could make him first base his best position eventually, though he's considered an adequate corner outfielder for now. In the meantime, it's his potential as a slugger that has the Mets excited. Quote, he hits the ball incredibly hard, Epler said, after the trade. He made a dramatic entrance to the Mets last week, hitting a home run in his first at-bat for high-A Brooklyn and reaching base four times in his first game. Since then, Clifford hasn't done much and is hitting just 143 in four games, but is considering how quickly he adjusted his promotion to Asheville earlier this season. He seems likely to figure out his new league before long. Quote, he's a mature kid on and off the field, said one scout. He'll make the adjustments 
And he's just starting to show that he can do it with that power. What he can do with that power. I think it's safe to say that if he stays in the organization, he's eventually going to hit a lot of home runs at City Field. If that turns out to be true, then Clifford just might be remembered as the best player the Mets acquired in the great self of 2023. Uh, now, if you like videos on Met prospects, and it doesn't it doesn't matter what video it's on or who the prospect is, I will. This is the channel for you. You want to subscribe to this channel. This is the number one prospect channel when it comes to New York Mets and the New York Mets fans. So, let me know what you think about this video, and please subscribe. And I'll see you later.